Hello, my name is Clive Wears, Director of Music at Corby Business Academy. The purpose of this presentation is to give you an understanding of GCSE Music in order to help you decide if you should be considering music as one of your options. The course provides a starting point into employment in many of the diverse areas of music, including roles in specialist areas such as a musician, a composer, a songwriter, a conductor, a record producer, a sound technician, a roadie, a venue manager, a studio manager, a sound engineer, a session musician, a music journalist, a blogger, software programmer, a DJ, a music therapist, live sound technician. You never know, one day you might be performing at the Sydney Opera House. The list goes on. As an industry, music covers and includes a phenomenal amount of different jobs. GCSE Music is successful as it appeals to a wide range of interests. As some students have a passion in performing, others may prefer to learn how to become a composer or a songwriter, whereas some will want to focus on using computer software to sequence and mix tracks. We follow the OCR music course, which is divided into three different sections. 60% of the course is coursework based, which is one of the only GCSEs that still maintains such a high level of coursework. The first area uh, is performing, and that accounts for 30%. Students are required to perform on an instrument of their choice. Many students who choose GCSE music have individual lessons at, at the academy, provided by some of our excellent visiting music staff. This is not, however, a prerequisite. Students are required to perform a recital for four minutes in duration, which usually equates to th two or three pieces of music. This is recorded in year two of the course, i.e. in year 11. The final performances can be on absolutely any instrument, from to tr traditional instruments such as brass and woodwind, to ukulele, guitar, singing, rapping, or even beatboxing. There is an option to change the performance element to a sequence performance for those that wish. Many students record their performance as part of a public concert, yet some decide to record on their own using our bespoke recording studio. It doesn't matter which option you choose. The second area accounts for 30% and is compositional based. Students will use the fabulous resources within the music department at Corby Business Academy to facilitate their composing. Students are required to submit two compositions with a combined duration of four minutes. Writing compositions will allow students to really zoom in on areas of their interest and expertise. One of the compositions requirements is a completely free composition and can be written in any musical style. This usually focuses on a student's strengths. For example, a singer may want to write a pop song. A drummer might want to write a solo piece for drum kit. A piano player may want to write a solo or a duet for piano. A guitar player may want to write a piece for a rock band. The choice really is yours. The second composition is a piece that has a starting point released by the exam board at the commencement of year 11. The composition will focus on one of the areas of study for GCSE. The remaining section of the course accounts for 40% of the total grade and is the in the form of a listening paper at the end of the two year course, i.e. in the summer of year 11. This focuses on four areas of study, namely rhythms of the world, popular music, film music and the concerto through time. All of the areas of study for GCSE will be covered during the two year course. During the course, many of our students will be ambassadors for the academy and will perform in concerts up and down the country. GCSE students have in the past performed in the Royal Albert Hall, Birmingham Symphony Hall, as well as Manchester's Royal Northern College of Music. GCSE students have also competed in festivals and competitions such as the Aundel Festival of Music and Drama, the National Concert Band Festival, as well in, as reaching the finals of the Music for Youth. Students will also have the opportunity to attend concerts and tours throughout their course. This really is an exciting, fun-filled course. Please allow me to take the opportunity to thank you for watching and listening. Further details about GCSE music can be found in the options booklet 
as well as my contact details if you require further assistance or information. Thank you.